Hello everybody, it's me again, Windmaster5000. This time, I'm going to talk about something different. It's going to be awkward, but here I go. I'm going to talk about suicide. As you can, if I have like favorite people who watch my videos, if I have people like that, notice I never, I haven't put a new video on for about maybe three or two months now. Uh, one of the reasons it's because I did suicide, or I tried to anyway. So I'm going to talk to you about suicide and tell you what will happen if you don't know because it's horrible so I think you should just watch what I have to say to prepare yourself so here I go I went on suicide on May and my birthday is in May 27th so I went on suicide on May 3rd or May 4th I took lots of pills I took like yeah, I took lots of pills, and it was disgusting, and it tasted nasty. So, I took some drugs, like whatever, and after that, I wrote to my friends and stuff that what I will do. There was this one man that really peed me off. I really hated. He kept pushing me down. I, he wouldn't let me do what I wanted. He was a very controlling man and I couldn't take it anymore so I just did that. Which was stupid, yeah, whatever, I know what you guys are probably going to say, but after that I went out and my legs and my arms started to become weak and very weak like, and I start to get dizzy and dizzy and everything. Then after a while, probably about 15 minutes, I came back to the house. Uh, about one block away, I seen a cop truck pass, and I said, oh, I see, now that, I know what's going to happen. So after that, I went to the house, a whole bunch of cops and ambulance were in the house telling me, come on, come with me, let's take your blood and blah, 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 and this and blah, let's take you to the hospital, blah, 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 you're on surveillance, blah, 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 you can't leave the hospital. So yeah, so they took urine sample, lots of blood, and... They take everything from you. So, here I go. So I was in the hospital. I went to the hospital on Friday or Thursday. They were going to transfer me to another city, to another hospital, to a bigger one. But they didn't have a bed ready, so I had to wait in that hospital for till the weekend was over. So it was completely boring. At least I had a TV. And they checked on me every 15 minutes and I had no privacy whatsoever so they don't want me to do it again. So I had lots of friends and stuff come over telling me this wasn't a good idea, you should came here and I said yes I know but it didn't help, what's wrong with you people? And then after that they transferred me to another hospital in a bigger city and this is where I'm gonna tell you don't go suicide because if you go suicide and if you fail it's going to be a living hell. I mean, seriously. Be okay, so I went to another place. I went into the hospital. I had all my chocolate and pop and playing cards and all that to take with me and clothing. They brought me in there. They took all my stuff away. They brought me into a room, a brick room with one bed, with a video camera on the ceiling, and they told me to take everything off and put these hospital things on. And I was like, okay, so I'm gonna have to change with a video camera watching me. So it was bleh, horrible. So I took everything off, they took everything from me, they even took my socks and my boxers, and they kept me in that room. And I was so bored. There was, it's only a teeny room with other like, six other rooms. And we only can walk in a little space out of our rooms. I didn't want to because there were other crazy people in there who were suicidal. And so I stayed in my room. It was... There was no TV. You only can read magazines. You can't watch TV. You can't play cards. 
so you do, so you can't, you know, kill yourself again. So they kept watching me, and we our bedtime was like 10 o'clock, and if I couldn't sleep, I had to ask for a sleeping pill, and it was, ugh, so boring. I was there like for two or three days. I think it was a test to see how long you can last. So after that, I was a level one star. After that, I went to to the other places I was a level 2 so I'm able to walk out more but I can't go outside into the walking area till I was a level 3 so there was a TV and I got my own, a better bed with a window view because my last only had a teeny little window that I couldn't look through so it was completely horrible so after that they made me take pills lunch breakfast I mean breakfast lunch and dinner it was ugh, disgusting and they had to go talk to people, the doctor comes to see if you're right, to see if you should go there longer or s you can leave. I was at the thing for about a week because I kind of did a good, I was good. I didn't have any bad records in my record thingy. And I, and then after a day I became a level 3 so I was able to go outside and our visiting hours were only like four hours, which sucked. And you, visiting hours, you only can visit for half an hour, then leave, then come back half an hour, then leave. So what's the point of having a four-hour visiting hour if you only can have a visitor for a half an hour? It sucks. And it's like at four to eight o'clock, and then so. After that, I talked to people. The doctor came up to me and said, Okay, you're ready to go. And then I went, Oh, thank goodness. It was boring. You can't do anything. Only books, walk around, being miserable. This is so bad. I was so bored. I'm an entertainment person. I need to be entertained a lot. And oh, look, look at me. I'm perfect. My my silver gray hair shining in the light, my green eye and my brown eye. And I had to shave. In there they wouldn't even let me have a razor. They wouldn't even let me comb my hair. My hair was all poofy and everything and disgusting. My beard or my mustache was coming out. I had no stuff on my face because my face was all ew and disgusting. And ugh. It was gross. So don't. If you don't complete, if you fail, this is what will happen to you. It was horrible. So after that, I was transferred to my auntie's in an isolated place in the woods. So I'm boring. I mean, so I'm bored. No internet, no nothing. And. I'm not really sure. I still have to wait because this guy that drove me to this is leaving in the summer. Hopefully he does. So I can go back to my home again. So I'm going to tell you this. Suicide isn't the right way. I can't really say that really. Because it, it kind of is for me. For me, it's, why would someone want to save you if you want to go? I wanted to go. I wanted to be free because my life is boring. I can't, there's nothing for me to do. I have no job. I don't have many friends. And I'm very, my money isn't very good. And... I wanted to be like a famous person, I wanted to go to Hollywood and become famous, a famous singer, a video star, but I can't do that here. I can't drive all the way over there. I want to be noticed, but I can't. I want to go to Disneyland, but I can't do that. I want to go to Japan, but I can't. My life is just not good. I don't know why. I wanted to go. If I went, then I would have been free and would have been done everything I wanted. I don't know why someone would save me. But it's your guys' life. 
Someone saved me. I didn't really want them to save me. It was a question of me saying, if someone wanted to die, would you save them? If this person really, really wanted to, would you save them? Because if they saved you, then you would be feeling bad and more miserable that it didn't happen. For me, I think this is a dream. The butterfly story. Once upon a time, there was wind walking in a field. And then all of a sudden, fire came upon it. And then there was blood on me. And then as soon as I looked, I seen a butterfly. Was I dreaming the butterfly? Or was the butterfly dreaming me to die? I'm not sure. So here's my thing. You can do what you want, but I'm telling you what would happen if you failed. I'm not saying you should just do it completely, do fast, but I'm just warning you. So, hopefully you guys could go out and get counseling or ask for help. And hopefully my life becomes better. So, yeah. Look at my hair, it's so beautiful. It's so gray and silver. I like it. It took a long time to get it this way. So, I'm gonna go now. Hope you guys think, think about it. So, this is Windmaster 5000. Peace. And think about it. And hopefully you guys can ask for help. Bye. <laughs>